Now it's been three days and three different cases have come to light in Bengaluru where citizens have suffered an account of pothole streets. When Mira now confronted the Bengaluru civic body, they claimed that they were already doing the best that they could and nothing more can be done during the monsoons. Now we understand it has been raining torrentially over the last six hours. There is heavy water logging on arterial roads. In fact, the situation is on your screens right now. This happened today. The footage that we are showing you on your screens is from today when it rained for under an hour. And this is what an hour of rainfall has caused in Bengaluru. Traffic has been diverted at many places. There are traffic snarls at key locations like the Makri Circle. Houses have been inundated. Walls have collapsed. There is flooding at Hosu Road, at Electronic City. I have Shrija who is standing by. Shrija, rain seemed to have devastated Bengaluru. We seem to have problems getting through to Shrija over there. But this is what you are seeing. This is footage from our IT capital, from Bengaluru. The Hosu Road, Electronic City that you are seeing on your screen over there. You can see how an hour of rain has brought the cities to a standstill. There's water logging on the roads. There's water that has flown into people's houses, sewage water that has entered into people's houses. This, this is footage that you're getting from Koramangla, from HSR layout, from Electronic City. And it's not just water logging, water logging on the streets. This is also causing potholes. And people are paying, people are, uh, we've also had, we've also brought you stories of people. Right, we now, we've now managed to get in touch with Shrija, our reporter in Bengaluru. Shrija, rains again in Bengaluru and the city's come to a standstill. Right, Kavita, I'm right now standing at uh, Town Hall. What you can see is it's still drizzling at this point in time. In fact, the rain started here in Bengaluru at around 1 p.m. And it was at a stretch. It went on for a stretch of uh, about five hours. And we could see some of the uh, low-lying areas, especially Shanti Nagal, Double Road, Kormangla, Madiwala, and uh, Hebal Flyover was completely inundated. You could see there was no space for water to, in fact, seep in through the ground. Also, remember that over the last couple of weeks we have seen how Bengaluru has been completely failing the infrastructure is completely crumbling only because of the rains also KJ George uh, Bengaluru development minister had promised the citizens of Bengaluru saying in the first week of October they will be deploying in fact uh, robotic excavators and still we are awaiting for that we don't see that work on ground that is robotic ex excavators they have allocated at least about 300 crores only for this robotic excavator so that they can uh, start with the cleaning and dredging of the stormwater drains. Remember that ideally this work should have started like at least six months ago during summer. But unfortunately, the, our government is taking up the work only when it is raining. And oh, it, is, it is a huge mess here in the city where you can see in fact, normal life has been completely thrown out of gear. People are, uh, in fact, losing lives because of the pothole. And the reason for the pothole is only because of the rain. Now, you can question clearly the government, the shoddy work by the government itself. Also, we see the stormwater drains overflowing. All these areas, the low-lying areas in Bengaluru city is completely flooded. We also saw at least more than three to four trees being uprooted. That, again, the responsibility falls on the BBMP while they should have conducted a census, a three census, but clearly nothing has been really done and Bengaluru is completely failing because the civic authority has failed to do their job. Right, Srija, clearly over here the government failing its citizens yet again and remember this is happening once too often in India's IT capital, Bengaluru.